Please welcome our next fighter making his way to the cage, David Boyko. It's Sunday night in Los Angeles, California. Time for the University of Mixed Martial Arts from Club Nokia at LA Live. I'm Rich Slayton, joined by Donna Gonzalez to call this 197 pound catch weight affair between David Boyko and Christopher Giannis. David Boyko coming in, um, you know, we've talked about this before, with a really good team behind him. He is at Elite MMA, and we've got uh, one of our fighters fighting for the championship tonight, Ryan Lilly. We've got Brooksy Bayard. Um, they've got some great coaches over there. Obviously, it's Boss Rootin's gym. Rootin tootin', Boss Rootin. Rootin tootin', Boss Rootin. He's here tonight. And, you know, we can always expect well-rounded fighters coming out of the Elite. Three years of high school wrestling for David Boyko, including two appearances at CIF, plus five years of no gi jiu-jitsu. Maybe this guy's pretty good on the ground. Maybe. You never know. But I'm going to say yes. Five years. David Boyko did spend some time in the Israeli army, but had to be discharged, unfortunately, due to a, a, a knee injury oh. he sustained while training wrestling here in the U.S. That's a bummer. But it seems like he's been able to deal with it, and he's, he's definitely feeling well enough to get into the cage tonight. You might notice that, uh, that California swoop of hair across David Boyko. He's a true California boy. When he's not in the gym, he's a surfer looking for those big waves 20 to 25 feet. And his opponent making his way to the cage, Christopher Yanez. Across from David Boyko tonight is 30-year-old Christopher Yanez fighting with Team Quest in Murrieta, California. You know, I said it about his teammate, and I'm gonna say it about this. He's coming from an amazing team. Obviously, Dan Henderson's team. He is being cornered by Sam Alvey tonight of the US UFC. Smiling um, Sam Alvey. Smiling Sam Alvey, who's been smiling all day. He's a very personable guy. Um, Christopher is, you know, coming in with a great team. This dude is tough. He worked a graveyard shift last night. He got off work at 7 a.m., drove straight here and weighed in. That's one bad dude. That is insane. <laughs> I asked him, I'm like, why are you here? Why did you do this? And he was like, because Sam told me I had to. <laughs> well, you know, he is a, a, a ex-member of our United States military. Yes, he and is. And that training gives you the ability to operate under all stressful conditions, including Absolutely. lack of sleep. I don't think it's going to affect him uh, because, you know, that military training and, you know, there's so much adrenaline pumping when you're in there. He'll be really tired when he's done with it. I don't see it affecting him at all tonight, though. Much like his opponent, Boyko, Giannis also has a wrestling background with uh, a few years wrestling at Millican High School and jiu-jitsu since 2006. Yep. Christopher said uh, before the fight that he is looking to be really aggressive and he wants fight of the night, so I want to see him get it. Well, at 197 pounds, I would not hate that. Right? One of the larger fights hit we have hard. on tonight's card. To kick things off, let's go inside the cage with Salvador Ariana. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our next fight of the evening is brought to you by Down to Scrap MMA Gear and Apparel. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds at a catch weight of 195 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxing practitioner making his debut. He stands at six feet, two inches tall and weighed in officially at 192.2 pounds, representing Boss Rudin's Elite MMA from Agoura Hills, California, David Boyko. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist. He comes to this fight with a record of one win and no losses. His one win coming by way of submission. He stands at five feet, eight inches tall and weighed in at 198.2 pounds, fighting with Team Quest from Long Beach, California, Christopher Yanez. Man in charge of the action, Rob Learmont. Three two minute rounds at the 197 pound catch weight between David Boyko, the kickboxer and wrestler, Christopher Yanez from Team Quest in Murrieta, California. You know, it's 6'2 for Boyko and 5'8 for Yanez. You have to wonder if that six inch height difference might play a big role in tonight's fight. Um, I think that Giannis is really going to have to work hard to stay out of Boyko's uh, punching range. I mean, that's always a, a, something that you need to be aware of as the shorter fighter. At the same time, Boyko needs to be aware that Giannis can come inside and if he gets inside of those punches, but he's going straight for the takedown. He's got to watch that guillotine right there. Boyko, good sprawl. That's that CIF background. I think this is really smart on Giannis's part. 
if you wrap up with somebody, your height difference is going to make that much. The height difference is going to be that big of a difference. As long and as he keeps his hips underneath him, that's, that's what you want to do. That was an awesome toss. Beautiful takedown here from Christopher Giannis, now working in side control. He's got to get those heavy hips and keep Boyko down. That was, he passed his guard, or he passed, he got to mount. And he's utilizing, utilizing those wrestling hips. Stiff jab from Boyko stops Giannis from coming in. Boyko definitely wants to stay away from the takedown. This is a dog fight early. These guys are getting dirty. This is what you expect from the big guys. They're trying to utilize that weight early on. We want to see Giannis work to get off that cage, and, and Boyko needs to keep those those hips heavy and push on him. And he's going to keep be able to be doing that. He's going to be able to keep him up against the cage. Giannis is really throwing. Does, is, does he have a judo background? What is going on? We've seen two. We've seen a, 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 a fantastic judo throw, and before that, a little bit of Greco-Roman style. Maybe that's from the military. Not impossible now. Christopher Giannis Got him in a possibly bully working choke on position. that basic Atame. <laughs> yeah. This is actually one of the more difficult positions to escape from. It is. It doesn't look like it should be, but, you know, all of, all of Giannis's weight is on Boyko's head, and he's got that mount again. you got to be careful of that. you got to keep those knees high, or else the person can just get mount, and he's going to take his back. There it is. Good job from Boyko avoiding that, that back taking and turning into his guard better than being on having somebody on your back. You know, one thing to notice, we, we saw that in that transition there. When Boyko's trying to escape that mount, his left arm is in a really dangerous position. Yeah. We saw a, a, a very similar, we've seen very similar submissions pulled off by Rowdy Ronda Rousey as someone tries to move and that arm gets trapped. Well, I think speaking of her, your arm can be in New York and she can be in Los Angeles and she's still going to arm bar you. I'm not sure that's who you want to compare it to, but yes. You leaving your arm out there, a very savvy fighter, a very savvy BJJ person, is going to be able to grab that arm bar and get the submission. Yana seems to be a secret judo fighter. Out of nowhere. But, yeah, he's like, I'm all about the tosses tonight, um, which is kind of awesome. And he really should be able to take advantage of trapping that arm because he's done it twice. The big question now is, can David Boyko make it his fight, or will Christopher Yana be able to dictate where the action takes place? I think what Boyko needs to do is keep his distance with his striking. I think by, it's a really big mistake letting, or, you know, not a mistake, can't stop him, but uh, he's got to watch out for those takedowns. I think his strength is going to be keeping him at a distance with the striking. Round number two on its way at this 197 pound catch weight affair. Christopher Yana showing off that grappling acumen in round number one. David Boyko showing his ability to get back to his feet. That's what you wanted to see from Boyko. But Giannis is not having it. He's like, we're going to the ground, and I'm taking you there. Giannis fighting like he wants to make up for having to drive here from at 7 in the morning. Right? He's like, I had to stay up all night. And he's doing a really good job keeping that side control and, and controlling Boyko. Got to get those hips in there. Boyko, though, yet again working back to his feet, as we've seen multiple times in the first round. That's a big, strong dude. It'd be probably pretty hard to keep him down. I think Boyko really showing off um, what the Team Quest guys are all about, and that's wrestling. Giannis very agile for his body type. You know, you really? You see those guys who are stock, you don't think of yeah. them as someone whose hips are moving so crazy. He has a serious command of his hips, and you know, I think he's he is doing a great job of it. And he's giving Boyko a really hard time, but Bo Boyko seems really determined to, well, to finish the pass right now. Using a size advantage. Get up, get up. Takes back, nope. Giannis back to his feet now. Boyko trying to let go his hands. I say he's got to get out of that wrap up. And, oh, oh, low blow. That a shot? I hear that hurts for boys. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea either, but I hear. That's the danger of a knee in transition. Can't imagine it feels good. I can't imagine any knee feels good. No. I'm just saying, though, on That's boys, one of the less fun ones. Yeah. Less fun ones. Funs, you know, funs. The funsies. This is one of the less funsies onesies. <laughs> David Boyko taking his time to recover. Even with the cup in, that's, I, that's I a really lot of movement. I think that the cup might, like, it... 
in certain on the sides, maybe it actually might um, add. It's a different to kind of pain. Hurt. Yeah, a little pinching going on. No. Maybe just a little bit. So who do you think this actually plays out an advantage for more right now? Oh, absolutely, Giannis. I mean, here Boyko has to recover from a cross shot now. That that that's not that's not a fun thing to recover from. And sure. so Giannis has the opportunity to to recover and get his breath back. And now it's almost like starting around fresh. And now we're back in it. Boyko's trying to make him pay for that. One thing you'll notice amongst amateur fighters that you don't see as much from the pros is amateur is fighters mean? tend to swing. Most of their punches are hooks, not yeah. a lot of straight punches. And you'll see Ooh. here. Oh, oh big God. right hand for oh Boyko. My God. Giannis goes down, very tough working back to his feet. There's that striking that we are expecting to see from Boyko, and that, I, we could hear that from the side of the cage. That was a nasty right hand. That hurt. Giannis able to answer back, though, and that's amazing. Some blood from the mouth of Giannis. Boyko trying to turn it on here in the last seconds. Whoa. That's what we are waiting to see from Boyko. That's I don't some think, fireworks. Absolutely not, and I don't think we were able to see what he was about going to the ground. But holy crap, those punches were hard. That was a lot. We can see a little bit of blood now from the mouth of Christopher Giannis. I would not want to be on the receiving end of those punches. <laughs> Ooh, boy. <laughs> I'm a small Justice girl. I probably wouldn't be on the receiving end of any of those men's punches, but. <laughs> Just as we're talking about how all these punches are coming out wide and looping right? in, one of those connects. Yeah, well, you, hey, if you put your head in the, the middle of one, they are throwing for the rafters. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because they're not super technical punches doesn't mean they're not hard, doesn't mean they won't hurt, and sure doesn't mean they won't do the job. The you know, I do wonder, though, why, is it, why, why do we see so few straight punches? I mean, that straight right or straight left, that's a, that's a monster punch. We see it yeah. so rarely in the amateurs. You know, <sighs> training, I think what happens a lot of times um, is a fighter comes in and they don't have the experience that a professional fighter has. And so you do revert back to, I'm just getting in there. I just want to swing. I just want to hit and connect. And you're not being as smart as somebody with a lot of experience might be. To be fair, we do have two fighters making their camo debut tonight. Absolutely. So, this is you know what? I, I say give Boykin a little bit more time and we're going to see those, those punches straighten out. Okay, so what's going to happen? We're going to reach the final 120 seconds of this fight between David Boyko and Christopher Giannis. Yeah. If I'm Giannis, I'm taking him down. I am not standing up for any more of those punches. Giannis's hands very, very high. Boyko's hands falling lower and lower as the round goes on. Which could spinning put him back in a lot of danger. From Giannis. I mean, he just, just ate a spinning back about. fist, yeah. There's that takedown. That's that's where Giannis wants to be. And if I'm Boyko, I'm trying to get back up. I want to be able to go where I'm strong. Interesting note about Giannis's uh, uh, shin guards. He needs to get out of this. You see, Giannis does. Excuse me. If you take a look at the Giannis's shin guards, there's there's sort of some padding under the ball of the foot. I wonder if that makes it more difficult to get traction. Oh, I would imagine. Yeah, absolutely. Both guys throwing mirror jabs three in a row now. Four in a row now. You know, that height difference does not seem to me make a, a difference. I mean, they're both hitting each other at the same time. And now, Woo! Boyko trying Giannis. to pull yeah. it on. This is where Boyko wants to be, up with Giannis up against the cage so he can throw those heavy punches. And if I'm Giannis, I'm getting the hell out of there. Boyko backs out with a stiff right hand, throws a knee. That, el that knee did some damage. Body shots, uppercut. Woo! These guys are tired. Woo. Boyko trying to turn it on. Giannis hanging in. And there it is. 30 seconds left back and in this final round. One of them needs to do something big right now. I feel like Boyko's about to. Oh, no. It's Giannis coming in with those uppercuts. Nearing the last 10 seconds. Can these guys pour it on? Can someone put a... Oh, there it is. Stamp There's the flurry. Boyko oh, let my loose. Goodness. Giannis firing back. Yeah. And that is it. Whoa. 
was fantastic. Everybody, you won it. I think we just saw. I I think they might get fight of the night. I think Giannis there. might have called it. Excellent early candidate <laughs> for fight of the night. Christopher Giannis. Sam Alves coming in telling me what a good fight it was. That was fantastic. Insanely tough, Christopher Giannis. Oh my God, I think we just saw the best out of both of those fighters. Giannis definitely showed off his wrestling skills and holy crap, Boyko showed off his striking skills. Boyko making some room there at the end and really pouring it on. That was, I don't think either of those fighters should, whichever one loses, and I don't know which one is going to, but whichever fighter loses, I don't think they should take that as a loss. I think both of these fights, fighters, did put on an amazing performance tonight. One thing to remember, these amateur fights are in many ways an audition Absolutely. for the pro ranks. and they don't count. I don't, I don't care which one of these fighters you are, you send a professional booker a video of you going Absolutely. that hard, Absolutely. they want you in their This ring. is what I'm saying, the record doesn't matter. You show this fight to somebody, they're gonna be like, I want you on my promotion. Back and forth action. We had the wrestling of Christopher Giannis controlling the first round. We had the striking of David Boyko really opening up in that second. Man. And that third round was just razor it thin. It was back and forth. I honestly, I wouldn't want to be a ref. I like just watching it and being um, entertained by these fighters. Jay Tan, our matchmaker, reveling in his decision to make this one happen. Jay Going is inside, patting shaking himself on hands. the back right now. Dude, didn't I make a great match? I know. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> that was almost as good as pro wrestling. <laughs> little inside Jay Tan, baseball. ladies and gentlemen. Jay Tan. Hey, he put together a great fight. Absolutely. That's how we do it. Smiling here Sam Alvey, loving the action. I know that's the kind of that's the kind of fight you expect from Absolutely. Team Quest versus Boss Root. Oh, gym. for sure. <laughs> this isn't this isn't two guys who are training in a garage somewhere. These are two no, guys. No, these are two guys coming from not to use the name, but elite fight camps. You know, and that's one thing we should have thought of. You know, we, we were kind of surprised by the grappling of Christopher Giannis. We should. But not only was the high school yeah. wrestling jujitsu for the last right. almost ten years, but he also trains at Team Quest, which is right. known for high level wrestling. I mean, it's Hendo's gym. So, what, yeah, what did we expect? Who knows who's <laughs> going to win this one? Let's go inside the cage and find out with Salvador Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. After three rounds of action, we have 29 to 28. All three judges score the same for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner. <laughs> JV Boyko. Wow. What a fight. Wow. All right, I'm say. here with your winner, David Boyko. David, how's that sound? That's great. Love it. Whoa! David, you came out here against a very game opponent. What was the key to your victory? Keep it at distance and stay off the ground. Let's go. Just mash them up. Mash them up indeed. You landed some heavy, heavy strikes. It looked like you were going for the finish. What was going through your mind at the end of the third round? I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. Whoa! Woo! So great. David, who would you like to thank for your win? I want to thank my coaching staff. I want to thank U of MMA. I want to thank the people that support me the most. Jeff Ferrero, my teammates at Boss Rudin Lee MMA. And thank you my coaches, JJ and Boss Rudin. Thank you everybody for coming out. Also, we want to thank you on a fantastic performance. Give it up for him, David Boyko. Thank you. Your winner in his debut fight by unanimous decision, David Boyko.